Hello my friends, welcome back to my channel. I know I haven't been on in a long time, but depression got the best of me, but I'm trying hard to pull myself out of bed and try to go on with my life because depression sucks. But we're not here to talk about depression. We're here to talk about my Ipsy bag. I got this a week ago. But I just couldn't get myself up and to do anything. I just finally got up yesterday to clean my house. Because I got teenagers and they still don't know how to clean up. But today's bag is, I mean this month's bag is this one. Hmm, a lot of people like like other videos I've seen they like this bag but to me I find this bag is good for a teenager because what working mom has time to sit down and color their makeup bag so but it's bigger than most bags we've got and there's no ipsy on the tag this time it's inside the bag sewn in and this month's um, theme is create. And oh, my markers fell out of the bag. And we got some pink and green markers. And I'll give that to my child as well. So the first thing that we got is a Hikari cream pigment. The full size of this is 3.9 grams for $13. And this is two grams. So if you break that down, this would be worth $6.67. For this sample size and yeah they had a choice between this color or a green color and I'm happy I got this color look how beautiful that looks that's how it looks on my hand oh, that was a bad spot to put it let me see what I can there, that's better. I like that color. It's very pretty. I don't know if I can depot this though and put this in my um Ofra palette that I got in my last month's boxy charm. And just see if I can get this out of here. Oh yes, it came out, but I just don't know if it's um, gonna, if it's a magnet to stick in my other palette. I'll let you guys know. Okay, and that was in the color Shine. The next thing we got is this. City Color Cosmetic Glow Duo. I got all my notes right here. That's why I'm looking down and not at the camera. Maybe I'll put it up here so I can look at you all and the camera. <clears throat> um, for a full size is 15.8 grams for $5.99. But this is... This is 3.2 grams. No, that's wrong. 2.6 grams for the cream and 3.2 grams for the powder. So this sample size would be worth $2.20. I I'm 
not really good with the cream highlights. That's how it looks. Oh, and let's see if I can see it doesn't really show up on my skin type. And this is the powder one right here. I put the cream one right here. And I'll put the powder one right next to it. Yeah. The cream one is right here. And the powder one's right here. I don't like this at all. It doesn't go good with my skin type. But I wonder how this would look as an eyeshadow. I'll test it out. But I'm not too fond of that one. The next thing that we got is a tiny little eyeliner by Tarte. It's called Sex Kitten. And this is a full size of this is $24 Canadian. I don't know. I couldn't find an American price because... F off cat and I lost my thing over. Um, I couldn't because once I go on Tarte site, it automatically switches to Canadian dollars because I'm in Canada. So it's twenty four dollars Canadian for full size, and this is half of a full size, so this is worth twelve dollars. And this is the kind that I like. They roll up. I cannot stand the ones you gotta sharpen. Just a regular black eyeliner. I wish they would put colored eyeliners in Ipsy because I got so many black eyeliners. I'll never have to buy eyeliners again. And the next thing we got is a brush. And it's by Scone, and it's a large shadow brush, so that probably would go with this. And this brush costs $15 if you were to buy it. And the last thing we got in here is um, a facial detox clarifying and clean scrub. But this is for oily to acne skins while I have normal skin, so this is not my skin type, but my daughter has acne skin, so I'm sure she would use this. But these two I'm not too keen on, and these three I like. So I'd rate this bag a 3 out of 5. I, I wish I got the... Um, Lux Winky Winky Lux highlighter that I seen in someone else's bag. I would have loved to get that one. So after you break down everything, this bag costs me nineteen dollars Canadian. It's ten dollars plus five dollars shipping, and then you switch it into American funds. It comes to about nineteen dollars. So. And when you add up everything, then this bag is worth $61.87. So it's worth it in my opinion if I could use everything. But even though I only like these three products, it's still worth it. Um, I think I'll give Ipsy one more month, and if I don't get anything that I really, really like, I think I'm going to be canceling Ipsy, and I want to try a new box called Tribe, because um, it's more than BoxyCharm. It's $34.99, but you only pay that every two months, and you get four to five full-size products, and I seen someone's box this month and they got a Huda Beauty lip topper and they got a NARS blush. And I'm like, oh my god, I gotta try this box. So I'm gonna 
try Ipsy one more month, see how it is, because like these are only samples and I could be good getting full size products in the try box. So I'll let you know how it goes when I get Ipsy for April. I haven't seen any spoilers yet, so anyways, I had done enough jibber jabbering, so uh, until next time, bye.